Hey guys, welcome to Wisecracks. Co-host, empty chair. He is <laughs> he is where I was going to be uh, over at Mohegan Sun in Connecticut for his dad's final show. I was with his dad a couple nights ago in Atlantic City, and we had a great time and three hours on stage. Uh, John, you're in one of my favorite spots there. I love Mohegan Sun. It's such a hey, great I place. I didn't know that it's one of my favorite spots. Bill, the last time I was here was, I want to say, 1999. So they didn't even have the hotel here. You had, we had to stay off property like a mile away. Yeah. yeah. And we, we would work in the Wolf's Den, which oh was God. a free show back then. The there Wolf's was no Den, arena. it's still there. The Wolf's Den's still yes. there. Um, I went and looked at it last night at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah, so there was no hotel. There was no mall. Now, like right now, I'm I'm sorry, George. You probably hate that I just did that, but like I'm sitting right across That's the, from the Tao. beautiful lobby there. Yeah, um, really, I'm in the lobby, and, really cool. and that was that was Tao restaurant, like they have in New York and and L.A. and obviously Vegas and the Venetian. And uh, I walked by Michael Jordan's restaurant last night. Not that um, good, by the which, way. Which, by the way, oh, well, I don't feel so bad because I couldn't get in tonight Not for that dinner good. over there. Not that good. Okay. Uh, the, um, yeah, the Tuscany's better. There's a seafood place up there on that floor, right outside that, to the right, if you walk out. Seafood place yep. there. It's, it's I excellent. See it. The cl clam bakes. I oh, see my it. God. Yeah. They're, they're, listen, great New England clam chowder. How come I know about food? Oh, all the time, everywhere. But... Yeah, no, um, that place is great. I, I love to go to, I just go to the bar there, like the oyster bar there, but they have a sit yeah. down also. Fantastic. So um, let me ask you this. Who comes here? Like, I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere, but it was dark last night. So like, I didn't get to see like where we were driving, but I felt like we drove for an hour from that, from, from Hartford, Hartford. airport. Oh, did so you wind up, in the you, you flew in from Hartford to an hour and 10 minutes, something like that. Yeah. Where else should I flown in? No, that's it. There's no other. Oh, that, that's okay, great. Okay. That's a great spot. So who who comes here? People from <sighs> what? Yeah. From Boston? Listen, it's amazing when you're driving over to Mohegan Sun or or Foxwoods. It's like you're driving through these roads, and it's like you see a house. Maybe you'll see a farm, a couple more farms. Nothing. Yeah. All of a sudden, it like rises out of the swamps. These big, big, giant, beautiful buildings. And, yep. and they're building more towers and more. T they have busted every living human, those two casinos from up in Boston and uh, Connecticut and all around. They have. Listen, you see those big monstrosity casinos. They're beautiful casinos, but they have done yeah. some hurting. On, they have put a hurting on some people over there. It's amazing. Those big casinos were built on all that money. It's hardworking, blue collar people. Um, you know, it is what it is. That's how lo local Las Vegas is built, too. I don't want to go off on tangents, but um, they're, they're so beautiful like, properties. So they offer a lot. So I know now there's obviously Encore is in Boston. So did they hurt the business now for Mohegan? Well, I would think that Encore definitely took a portion of the business away. But right. there's so many more people that have been introduced to gambling now that it makes up for the, the loss that they're going to take from Encore. But right. um Make sure you go to Frank Pep's over there. Frank Pep's Pizza is in uh, okay. in the other tower, um, and and over by where the showroom is. That that particular uh, area of the um, I shouldn't say showroom. It's actually an arena. So the Mohegan Sun Arena right. over there. Frank Pep's yeah, is well, a, it's like like ten ten thousand people yeah, or something, right? Great, yeah. great pizza place from New Haven. They've uh, you know have different branches and that one is it's not as good as the New Haven one but it's very good so if you like here if you like Mohegan? yes if you like thin and crispy I'm pizza, gonna go get it I'm gonna go get it immediately even when I stay at Foxwoods I go over to Mohegan and get the pizza there that's where I go for pizza so really yes if Bill Krakenberger tells me go get a slice of pizza oh, yeah. I go get a slice of there's pizza there's nothing like that pie you're gonna have there there's nothing like okay. that over here in Vegas so that's how I good like it is it. Um, I like and, it and by the way. A great little shopping mall in the middle there. They offer great yep. video poker there. There's some really cool things there. The weekend. There's a. Let's see how busy it I is. Saw a, I saw a Tesla. There's a Tesla dealership. Wow. In the hotel. Wow. Wow. And they, or in the mall. Whatever. Okay. They have a FanDuel sports book in that hotel also. I went. The same yeah, exact tower where the pizza place is. Of course you did. Um, the same tower where the pizza place is is the uh, FanDuel. And they let me bet at the counter there. So. Uh, they kind of restrict me on the apps, of course, but the counter, they take some bets from me. So I'm, I'm really happy uh, when I go in there. The guys all know me in there. Same thing with Foxwoods with the DraftKings. Those yeah. guys all know me at the counter there. 
Great places. Uh, have a great time this weekend. I am sorry I'm going to miss your dad. Um, That's okay. I, I got to be You went blunt. to Atlantic City, which was amazing. I, I went to Atlantic City. I was supposed to go up there where you are and hang out with you. Um, we would have had our own little uh, Gamblers Anonymous meeting. But, um, yeah, <laughs> all week long. What are you going to be doing there, John? It's like Wednesday. What are you going to be doing there the next couple of nights? Well, Firing! We're at... No, we're actually shooting a documentary. Oh, uh, nice! That's why I brought. That's why I brought Matt Kelly. Matt oh, Kelly's actually Matt's there? shining the light on me right now. Oh, cool! Yeah, my man um, Matt. Tell him I said hi. And uh, can, do I do a quick little? Do I do a? Yep, yep. What's up, brother? There he is. There How you doing, is, pal? Man. Representing right. with nice a sticky paws you. hat. I wish I yeah. was nice. I wish I was with you guys. <laughs> I, I, uh, Bill said he wishes he was here with us. Yeah, I really do. Yeah. I really do. I, I, so, yeah, I, so, so, Bill, we're shooting a documentary on my dad. Oh, wow. Uh, Matt and I. And uh, we are going to be sitting down with Priscilla Presley when she comes yep. in. I knew she was coming. And David Pack from Ambrosia. Yep. We're going to talk to some of the guys in my dad's band. We're going to talk to Tom Cantone. So that's why I came in early so we could shoot all that nice. kind of stuff. Nice, yeah. nice. And, and you know, the other night when I seen your dad – we ran into uh, my my aunt Dolores came down from from the Bronx, and my cousin yeah. Chris. They came down, and 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 your dad treated them so much like family. He just broke me down, man. He was so nice, and he had such nice things to say about you and me, of course. And and he, he treated her like family, hugging and kissing her. And um, yeah, George has a clip, right, George? Absolutely. Maybe play that go. clip for John, because John's going to oh, see, see it. You're going to see it for the first it. time. Just listen. Total. He only makes my son better. Oh. And my son's great right now. Yeah. But if he could hang out with him, and if any, if him rubs off on my son, <laughs> he's doing me. I just I love that. I thought it was so cool. Your dad, yeah. uh, your dad knows uh, what's going on, and he, he just. And you were telling me the the fans were kind of rowdy at one point. Un I audience. text John during the show because I've been to many Tony Orlando show uh, shows, but I've never seen them rush the stage like that. So many people <laughs> were up there. People behind them that are sitting are starting to yell, yo, I paid for first row here. What are you doing? Like, right. And were they coming to like shake his hand at the bottom yes, of the stage yes. kind of thing? Yeah. Yes. Take but but this is a New York, New Jersey crowd, Pennsylvania, Philly. Yeah. This ain't, <laughs> this ain't a California <laughs> laid back fun <laughs> right. in the sun, shorts and surfing crowd. Right. This crowd's right. going to tell you what's up yeah. and start moving like, people I physically. Hey, buddy, I didn't, I didn't yeah. pay for the view of your ass. No, yeah. they were moving. Yeah. Like even your dad said, "Do you mind?" Like your dad's so sweet. <laughs> Do you mind sitting with the people behind? And he was trying to make it nice, but security had to come over and break things yeah. up and uh, uh, multiple times. But um, yeah, no, he he was great. He makes everyone, like I said, sp he's got that total lack of ego. I stole that from George. He does. He 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 just um, is, is so humble and, and makes you feel like you're he's there for you and he gets the crowd into it so much the veterans you know i've been yeah. to, i've been to your dad's show when he had some world war ii veterans he had a world war ii video veteran there yeah. they're not there no more they have you know it's very far hard yeah. to find you know, sure a world war ii veteran is gonna have to be in his 90s so uh, yeah. but, he, but some korea he made the korean war veterans stand up he found a couple there of course vietnam yeah. and iraq and so on and so forth and just all veterans he salutes them all he, um, you know, salutes the flag, um, and, yeah. and 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 you know, uh, he he really is. He's a he's a true patriot and a true American, and I, I really liked uh, to see that. And you know, I'm right with him there uh, for everything he stands for. So I yeah. love hearing you talk about him, Bill. I love it. Oh, he he got me. He got Thank me. You. He got he got me really emotionally, and I was with him for yeah. for a while. And uh, Joe Piscopo was there, who's got a really um, you know, um, he's got a new true New York show with over there, and my aunt loves him. My aunts are all uh, to the right over there, so they were yeah. they were all over Joe Piscopo. Your dad too. He was hugging yeah. and kissing. I mean, Joe was so cool. And I went, I said, I went up to him. Now there wasn't a lot of people around. I said, Joe. Matter of fact, there was no one. It was me, Joe, and my aunt. And I said, Joe, you realize you're in you know sacred grounds here. He goes, Oh my God, you're right. This is where Wise Guys was filmed. Me and Danny DeVito were in this. Wise Guys was a funny, funny. It was filmed at yeah, resorts. Yeah, great movie. So he was like, "Oh my God, you're right. This is great." But um, yeah. Well, more. Uh, listen, John. March Madness is amongst us. Yes, so it is. Vegas is going to be crazy. Even the book over there. Wait till you see what goes on when you walk around that place the next couple of days. Wait till you see what goes on. Same thing here. Yeah. This is uh. A crazy time of the year in Vegas. Any kind of the sports books now. Um, you know, back before I lived here, I, you know, me, me and my buddies would fly in uh, from New York and North Jersey. And we would all fly in for March Madness. We'd come in like Tuesday or Wednesday. 
and we go to the pool, spread out, get all our bets ready for the week. This is 25 years ago. It's amazing, yeah. though. There's no spreading out at the pool. I don't know what happened, uh, what happened, but the weather just the last 10 years is different I in know. March. It's not, you know, there's it. no pool weather uh, March 20th. Here. No. You know, it doesn't, uh, almost doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. It's you been know, every year. Right? Most of the, most of the pools, like the day clubs in Vegas, were supposed to open last weekend, and they all postponed because the weather was crazy. I mean, it was pouring rain and oh, I didn't even see. And... I didn't even know like yeah. the story there. Yeah, but um, you know, yeah, I put a video on, on, on up on Twitter. Um, people are upset, and so am I, and maybe yourself too. Uh, I, I just when we used to come to town, it was a fun thing. You were able to you know go to the sports books, hang out, and just you know put a towel down or not at the chair at the pool or put a newspaper down at your chair and, and that chair was yours all yeah. day at the sports book now you have to pay to to watch the games at most of the sports books 95 percent right. of them it's so right. different than it used to be so people are, yeah. in, are are in an uproar state over that it used to be it used to be just get there early post up claim your get real there estate early. that's right? it right that's yeah. it that's no it. more but um john Durango, I wanna, you can do it yeah yeah i, I want to give some uh I want to give a couple tips out that I wrote down earlier. I was writing down yeah. some notes. Um, I said, you know, you should be eyeing some underdogs in the first two rounds. Usually the talent and the depth will show for the teams in the, the later rounds. And, you know, people all come to town and they look for their Cinderella story. So they bet a lot of these, a lot of these big underdogs to, to win it all. But 100 to 1 shots just don't win. 50 to 1 shots just don't win. So, um, you know, it's just a waste of money for most people. Plus, I don't even bet right. to those pools, as you as you guys know. But um, the first half value, I know I talk about this uh, multiple times in, over the years. It's just a pure number. There's not a lot of fouling. So I like betting first half on a lot of teams. Not a lot, but my, my I'll, I'll bet first half on some teams rather than full game because the talent and the depth, again, of the team show in the second half. These kids are... You know, brand new to this. Some of these kids, they come out there, their endorphins are going, so they can hang with them for uh, the first half of the game. But um, I, I think I just think some teams like uh, Moorhead. Let me see when they play. I'm, I'm giving a game, and I hate I hate for it to be over by the time we it gets out there. Um, yeah, no, we're, really gonna, no, we're getting this. Yeah, we're, we're so getting this out. Some there. of these some of these teams. Um, I, I do like. I'll give you another game. I'll give you a 7 p.m. game. So this this should be able to make it on there. Drake. Drake over Washington State. Let me make sure the money line's still. Um, yeah, I'd like to give some. Yeah, Drake. Okay, Drake's still there. 120, 122 over Washington State. Uh, to they're improve. Mi if, minus? Yeah, they're, they're, they're just um, not, okay. not points. It's just that that's dollar, dollar wise. Right, you lay a right, dollar right. yeah. 20. But I mean, minus, minus 120. Okay. Yeah, they're pick them. Pick them minus 20. Let's call it that. Yeah. Um, this is a really improved Drake team that Both lost to Miami Drake. last year. What do I hear? Valley Conference running. What is that that I'm hearing, Drake? Oh, no, I heard something, Drake. I don't know. Yeah, no, I was just pulling oh. up a... Uh... Oh, a Drake thing? Yeah, no, um, Drake, Drake. Um, again, last year they were up eight in, in this kind of a situation here, and, and they collapsed in, to a more experienced Miami team. Um, and that Miami team actually made it all the way to the Final Four, so... Um, Is there any decent long shot that you kind of have your eye on? Boy, this year there's just not a long shot that I could pick out and say, oh... Really? You know, um, yeah, like... like I, I, I'm not betting Connecticut, but <clears throat> Connecticut's only five to like five to one to win it all, or even less. Um, like I, I like, there's a team at f at four thirty tomorrow that I like, uh, McNeese State over Gonzaga. Gonzaga is always a big team. They're not the team they used to be, but um, right. I could see them maybe going if they beat. You no, know, they're a seven point underdog tomorrow, so if they can uh, hang with Gonzaga and you know maybe steal a so victory from them, maybe what's they the money up. line? What's the money line on a game like that? That that money line you you can get a plus about two forty. Uh, let's see where you are. Yeah, about two forty exactly. Uh, on on McDeese. you know maybe speaking throw my language. Throw Bill, a peanut, speaking my language. Throw a peanut on that something like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. There, there, there's not so there's not that Cinderella story that I'm that I'd like to root for. Like I think it was like St. Pete. Like, I, there's nothing really like those teams. Uh, like St. Peter's this year is playing Tennessee. I, they're they're not going to beat Tennessee. I mean, they're of course they're they're not supposed to. They're a twenty one point underdog, but um, uh, I, I would love to have some of those other, you know, some of those other teams. But uh, maybe Vermont will give Duke a game. Like there's that's a team that can hang around in the first half against Duke. 
Uh, Because put it this way, who's betting Duke? I mean, everybody. You know, people aren't. Right. I mean, I meant to say, who's betting Vermont? Everyone's betting too. Right, I mean, right. People aren't going to. But however, these this is the a team that may be able to hang around for a first half when they're getting six and a half, seven points. Actually, getting seven over there at the DraftKings. But um, uh, I like James Madison versus Wisconsin. I bet them. I, now there's a game that's weird. I bet them plus five and a half. The game's still five and a half. So, um, wow. Yeah, but again, I won't bet as much. You know, um, where. Now, if it goes to six again, I may even bet them again. But I, I it's not going to be as I'm not going to bet as much as I bet on a a, a team in early November when they're first coming out of the gate, right. when no one knows right. these teams. So, um, but yeah. So anyway, a lot of the mid majors got screwed, uh, unfortunately. Um, like like yep. you know, St. Mary's, Grand Canyon. A lot of the mid majors got screwed here, but they, they always do every year. The committee really yeah. has a tough job, but they they know how to screw some of these teams. I'll stick to like a lot of things like. Uh, player props, uh, college basketball player props, maybe the uh, you know different players over under points. Um, and to give you an example too, I, someone sent me this text today. I was really surprised about there's a tenth state now, Ohio, going to ban betting on college player props because they're afraid of corruption or something. So my response to yeah. them was the limits are so small. I, I don't they realize that it's five hundred dollars, three hundred dollar bets. I mean. Uh, how are you gonna? I mean, corruption. That's they're they're just they're they're just overly thinking it. The, the players aren't gonna. Tank. The limits are five hundred dollars. That's like kind of nationwide on those yes, props. Yes, 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 yes. It's just um, listen, especially this tournament is under a microscope. Do you think that this is an issue when this is under a microscope? I mean, this no. is um, no, it isn't. But the, but the states are are starting to to drop that. So what do you do? Do you bet any March Madness? I don't even know. You're not really into college I basketball. Don't. I hate college sports across the board. <clears throat> I would me. only bet something if you came to me and said, hey, you need to bet on this. Yeah. I would do it, Yeah. Um, obviously. But, yeah, I just can't even uh, – see, because I know you don't even watch the games or you're, you're capable of betting and not watching the games. I have to see what's going on. Like, that makes it fun to me. I know you're in it, you know, it's business for you, but like, you know, I'll watch I, I if my friends on... are around or something, but I'm, I'm going to be, right. I'm going to be home for this. And yeah. I won't, um, I, I'll, I'll be watching it. I'll have them on in the background, but, I'll, you know, I'll tell you, I did wake up. Well, I had a tough time sleeping last night, but I did. I was wide awake at 6 a.m. this morning watching ESPN, watching the Dodgers play the Padres in Korea in Seoul. Did you see the girl that threw out the pitch? Yes. Whew. Smoke show. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, and, uh, they're making a big story about her. Uh, she's an yeah. act, like an actress and and um, yeah. Yeah. But, and and uh, didn't wait. Did Otani? Did, I think Dodgers Otani, won. Yeah. Otani, Otani start, homered first at bat. Right. My yeah. God. He didn't pitch. He just just. Oh, he didn't pitch. Yeah. You know. I mean, he he. Yeah. I meant, I meant he to say he, Dodgers won five to two or six to two. Right. And uh, the Dodgers are going to be tough to beat, Bill. They're oh yeah. Gonna be tough to beat. I know. They're going to break they're, the single season. Re- uh, Win record. I keep saying it. I don't I know about repeating that. it this but, way. When but it however, happens, they're, they're, George is able to find multiple clips of me saying the Dodgers are going to break the signal season. Look at them watching win her. record. There she is. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. Mary and Joseph. I mean, <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. She's waving to the Dodger players. Oh, hi. Little pitchers. Look at. <laughs> That's Shohei's. Did you bet That's on? Did you girl. bet on any? Did you bet on the game, Bill, or no? No. Today, no. No. I no. No, I didn't. Uh, but you will bet on baseball games throughout the season, of course. Oh, of course, of course. The Dodgers right. won five to two. They were a one eighty favorite. Um, yeah. I see, but I'm s- telling you, Bill. You know, I've said this four or five years now. Dodgers minus one and a half. Yeah. If you're gonna bet the Dodgers, just bet Dodgers minus one and a half. Listen, I know you probably hate those kind of bets, but with that if offense, a, man. Especially if a team's home. I can't. They, I lose three inning. I lose three outs. I mean, yeah, but I'm not a. I'm not a. a run George, line can you guy. track that this year? How many times the Dodgers win? How how many times they cover minus one and a half? Is I got there an you. app I'll, that can I'll, track that? Or no, something? I'll give you weekly updates. Uh, that'll be my like okay. side project. All right. I'll so tell you how much I. Undefeated. I'll tell you how much I make uh, off that. All so right. far, the Dodgers are on a pace to win 162 games this year. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, hi, my like name that. is right. my name is John. <laughs> I am a compulsive gambler. Um, hi, John. No, yeah, all good, all good. Um, 
<laughs> well, all right. That's good to know. What else is going on yeah. in, in the world? You're, so you're traveling there. I gave you guys some. Uh, let me see if I can give out any other basketball thing for Friday because Friday's a, a easier day to give out some stuff. I hate to give out something that's not obtainable. I'm not going to actually. Um, I may lean towards Vermont over Duke with the 12 points. Um, James Madison, I, I said, versus Wisconsin, though that didn't get any support. It looks like the other way it went a little bit. Because when I after I bet it, it went down to four and a half. Uh, actually opened the actually went opened at five and a half went down to four I'm looking at now back up to five right. and a half Wisconsin's tough I understand um, JMU is one of the hottest teams in the country though I, I, I just uh, uh, let's see I don't see wow see these teams like some of these teams Who's can like get the team to blown beat out or supposedly well the number ones really I mean the the the, the Houston's the uh, the Yukons even I, I like Purdue I don't really like the draw but I, I like Purdue also. Um, yeah, yeah. So they, they I play. feel like I want to get behind UConn just because I'm there. Yeah. I feel like that's who I need to get behind this year. Guess what? I don't think you can. No, you can't. You cannot bet Connecticut teams in Connecticut. It's so crazy. You They're, can't bet no. Connecticut teams in Connecticut. No, no. Oh like, like you can't bet the Jersey college teams in Jersey. It, it just, it's, it's terrible. I, that's such a bad rule. Like, come on, give me a yeah. break. But um, so yeah. So all right, there's a couple little little nuggets. I may post a thing or two on Twitter about them also about these teams. Um, but yeah, so you won't be, so you're going to be making a documentary. You're not going to really be doing any wagering or anything. Not, no. not that much anyway. No, no. Maybe venture to a little blackjack a little bit. I don't think they have double. Not maybe though. poker. No, I oh. Would probably oh, they have poker. poker by the way, they, they, they have yeah. a poker room there. I think, I know Foxwoods yeah. has a good one. Yeah. I think Mohegan has a good, that, that. and let yeah. me tell you something, John, I think the poker this weekend, if you're a poker player, all this, uh, I don't want to say drunken money, but everyone drinking, having right. a good time, party. Right, right, I right. I think this weekend, especially in Vegas, if you're a poker player, this is a great time to find marks. Um, you're saying even a guy like me can mop them up? No, you. Yeah, I think, I think, I think you could because you know you don't drink or nothing. You're focused, and yeah, you know they're going to be having a lot. Even there, they'll be, you know, getting a room, yeah. having a lot of fun, and um, yeah. I, Bill, what's do you remember the opening line to Rounders? What's that guy? Tell me, you know it. If you can't spot a, oh, a, a sucker it? at the in the first ten minutes at the table, you're it. Right, 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 right. Yeah. No, it, it it's it's true. It's true. I mean, uh, um, Bill, I'm excited that you're backing me in the World Series main event this year. But I'm really excited about that. Uh, yeah. the, the Super Seniors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you put me in the Super Seniors. On a, on a serious grand? note, though, I think the yeah. Seniors is it's fifty or older. And it's a thousand. I can take it down. It's a thousand dollars. I'll go partners with you. Well, you will? Yeah, of course. Five hundred each. Fifty. Yeah. Fifty. Yeah. No. All right. I, I think it's. I think it's binding. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth playing too. I'll tell you right now. Um, All right. Yeah, you know, you're gonna. Would get, you play? No. You couldn't guarantee me you're making the money. I probably. Poker. I shouldn't say that, but it's just it's it it, it it's. Let me tell you, it's tough playing poker. Not even poker for the. Right yeah, now. Yeah. To sit there, you 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 don't like to sit there. No. Uh, no, I love it. I, I played. Absolutely you know, it's funny. It. I had some friends come in town. I had to meet them at the Bellagio. I played um, maybe ten weeks ago, uh, maybe more than that. About twelve, about three months ago, they came in. We sat around. They were playing twenty forty. I was playing with them. I sat around that poker room for eight hours, and I still have the sore throat. I still my throat. Oh, really? My throat right now. I've had this same throat for three months. I, you know, like because you're saying too many germs at, at poker. I, I, this is I, too much. Too many people I, touching I, cards I'm, and chips and China. I don't know. I, like it's, <laughs> something's going on. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I've had the same exact throat for all this time. I mean, um, I, I used to never have like a scratchy throat. I sound like Joe Cocker, um, but I love Joe Cocker. By the way, when, when he yeah. when he died, it bothered me. Um, Bill but, George has no clue who Joe Cocker is, and George definitely no knows clue. some of his songs. Get George by with culture, a little help but, from my friends. You are so beautiful, George. You know that your your girlfriend hasn't sung you. You are so beautiful ever. No, I guess uh, not. wait. There's there's multiple Joe Cockers. How do you there's spell no Cocker? Multiple, there's no multiple. No, Joe. There's, there's one Joe one. Cocker. C O C K E R. C O C K. Yep. Yeah. No, you you know him. You, you, he was that guy. Was at Woodstock. He was in the He's, Eagles. No. No, that that's Joe Walsh you're looking at. Let so, me ask you guys a football question yeah. for you and George. Hear okay. me out. 
Yeah. Bill, you mentioned the Cinderella story, which yeah. I'm a big fan of just Cinderella stories in sports. And, and I feel like things uh, happen and you can kind of go like, oh, I could see this team winning the Super Bowl because of blank. Russell Wilson, hear me out. Oh. Steelers, Russell Wilson, he's been getting crapped on for a couple of years. There's a you know, bad signing with the Broncos. Obviously, he did terrible. He turns it all around. He gets Pittsburgh on track, and the Steelers head to the Super Bowl. You like that storyline or no? Yeah, they, they, yeah they, they, got a, they got a good backup in Justin <laughs> Fields, too. Yeah, that's um, that's a good point. That I I'm actually on John's side on this cuz they also got Patrick Queen from the Ravens and I think Patrick Queen's one of the best linebackers in the league. So I got Matt Kelly off to the side right now shaking his head saying nope and Russell's not even going to start the whole season. Oh wow, he, he's Fields got him. Takes over. He's got him going down early. That's fine. Give Russell Wilson. But what is what are the Steelers to win the Super Bowl? Oh, uh, let's see. Hold on. I'll look. I'll look right now. I feel if like I had to guess, how that, can the like Jets the, uh, only be twenty-four to one? What is going on? Good money there. Only twenty-four to one. That's unbelievable. The Jets would be like a hundred to one. I thought. Anyway, uh, the Steelers are the plus. Jets did decent last year. The Steelers are plus forty-five to one. Steelers are forty-five. Just to think one. about that. The I'm Jets, telling you, Jets are twenty-four to one, and the Steelers are forty-five to one. Wow. But wow. the Jets score a lot of points. The Jets had a yeah. decent year. I mean. Um. I'll tell you what, I'm looking here right now. The Bengals are 18 to 1. I like the Bengals at 18 to 1. The Ravens. That's a train are, I'm getting the, on. The Ravens are 12 to 1. I'm I'm really just shocked. The Ravens were almost in the Super Bowl this year. I'm like, I'm shocked the Ravens are 12 to what 1. What are the Eagles now? They gotta be up there. They're gonna be Bills favorites. are 13 to 1. Um, Eagles are probably six, five or six. The Chiefs are plus six sixty, of course. They're the favorite. Your Cowboys are 12. Oh, no, you're out of the Cowboys, right? Are you off them again? I'm done with the Cowboys. Yeah, I've divorced the Cowboys, Bill. They're, you don't even have to mention the Cowboys. I'm over it. They're 12 to 1. Okay. I'm done with the Cowboys. 40, the 49ers are the favorite, just to let you know, at 6 to That's 1. That's not going to happen. Where can I lay that? Yeah, yeah, really. I'm, I like to lay that. The Eagles are plus 23 to 1, John. So. Man, Eagles at twenty three to one, Bengals at eighteen to one, and what was the other one you said? That was maybe the uh, Bills or the Bengals. Mm. Yeah, Bengals, Steelers, forty five. I, I like those two. Yeah, yeah, oh, they're. Uh, but you some long odds. Like, there. is it? Do you think it's crazy, Bill, to throw 50, 50, 50, and fifty on those three? You know why I don't think it's crazy? For fifty Tell bucks, me. and I don't like betting future pools, but I know you don't. For That's fifty bucks, though. 50 bucks, you have three roots for the whole season. If it makes right. you gamble less on games throughout the year, which you probably won't, but if it makes you gamble less, then yeah. I have no problem with it at all. You okay. know, 50 bucks on a, few, on a few things. Now, I'll tell you, I'm reading circle lines. So that's probably the best lines for futures. But, yeah. you know, it's still a 30%, 40% hold. But, however, once you put a, put it up side by side, William Hill, MGM, Circa, Westgate, all the DraftKings, Fandle, put them all there and search for the best line. Now you're cutting okay. into that hold percentage, your own personal little hold percentage. Now, I have no problem with you doing that. No, no problem Okay, now let me just talk baseball futures real quick with you, Bill. I'm begging you. Yeah. I'm begging you. Throw a little something on the Royals to win the World Series the Reds to win the World Series, and you must respect the Rangers at 14-1 to because that line's absolutely wrong. I know you like to bet when the line is wrong. Rangers, How are you going to have the defending champs Rangers at 12, plus 12 or 14-1? 16-1. 16-1. 16-1 to to Rangers, 16-1. That is gross. Who else did you, you say? you got to bet the, uh, the Reds, I think, are 40-1. to one. The Reds, I'm going to say the same thing about the Reds. I said yeah, about we, the Rangers, we're, we're high on the Reds. We're high on the Reds. The Reds. We're high on the, the Reds, Reds too. May, My God, they may need one more year, but the Reds are going to be a really tough team this year. I have no problem and with you throwing Royals, a peanut on the Reds. Yeah, the Reds are forty Royals to one. Royals are one hundred and ten to one. The Royals are hundred and ten to one. God, is George or Brett, somewhere around is George that. Brett coming I'm back? I'm begging you. I'm begging you. You're begging. Just throw a little yeah. something. Don't. Here's. The, I just don't want to have to come back and say. Oh yeah. Told you. Told you. I told you. You know, I I don't know why. Why aren't yeah. the Royals even listed here? That's they, that. That's how long of a shot they are. The Royals are so high; they're, they're off not. The board. <laughs> they're not listed here. Let's see. Hold I on. I saw them at one hundred and ten to one. Let me go to another. Let me go to another screen. Here, here. I went to a different Aria. screen. 
The Royals are 150 to one at Circa. 150 to one at Circa. 150 to one. Value. At circa. Yeah. <laughs> I just said 110. The wow. value is going up. Wow. George is going to make a beeline to Circa after the show. I can guarantee you that. Scott. I got to make George a... Carmona will head to Circa yeah. today, and he's going to. Don't break the staff, please, George. Well, I got to. <laughs> I got to make a killing uh, on March Madness, and I think I use March Madness to place futures. Oh wow. Okay. I just circulate the money. Like to me and George I, has a plan. I like it. I, I do. I do. I, and I I'm struggling to find George opening day. On... When's opening day? Opening day is like For seven, baseball? like eight days. Yeah, seven or eight days. Baseball was today, the Dodgers. Oh oh well, yeah, if you want to count, yeah. You're right. I'm saying right. I'm saying seven or eight days. What am I talking yeah. about? Thursday, March 28th. Yeah. Wait, so that yeah. game counted today for the regular season? Correct. What Correct. is baseball doing? Yeah. I don't know. They're trying to go. They're trying to eventually have a World Series, I think. In Japan? Or well, in China? I just mean or, or? Uh, maybe maybe the other teams like that end up coming into the league somehow. or I, I don't know. Ooh, I don't know why they do that. A grand takeover. But yeah. Yeah. So huh. the Dodgers are playing on Thursday, March 21st, also at 3:05 a.m. That Vegas. was this morning. No, again, Vegas time. I'm looking at I'm looking at tomorrow's game versus San Diego. No, no. I'm looking at the 21st, 3:21. I'm looking on Don Best. Um, Yamamoto is pitching against Musgrave. Oh, today's the 20th. Yeah, today's the 20th. Oh, right. Okay. I'm looking yeah, at that okay. game. So, uh, are they are they minus series. one and a half? I have, I have oh, you can you can you can always bet that. Yeah, yeah but, you can always bet Dodgers minus one and a half. I'm telling you, that's the bet to make every single day. Wow, uh, you can't, Bill hates it, me. No, no, no. It's just it's tough to. You, uh, but Bill, you know they're going to win a hundred games at least. Is that fair? They're going to win a hundred games. They're 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 favorite too. That's 98 for sure. Ninety-eight games. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. think they're going to win 117 or 18 games. But yeah, so so you know they're going to win, and they win most games by by two or more. Yeah. March 28th, I I'm feel looking like at the Yankees game, eight days. Um, you know, I can look at the over-under for, for season wins for the Dodgers, and, and I would – I would uh, I, I did not bet that. It's so, 104, right? That's what I'm saying. It's over 100. Yeah, it's it's over 100. But that just seems like so I, – I can't bring myself to – you know, I've lost betting against them in the past, betting under on stuff like yeah. that. So um, They're going to be there, man. They're going to win the games. I promise you, they're going to win the games. No, because they. Play, let me the, the, the the narrative you're going to hear yeah, all year and a half. is that the Dodgers. You're going to hear this narrative all year. The Dodgers cheat because the way they structured the Otani deal, oh, they wow. cheated. They game the system. That's what you're going to start hearing because it's they're going to be beating up teams on the regular. It's going to be bad. Rem I can't wait for George to clip this and start posting this when it's obvious that I'm that I was right. Uh, so I just I, I put this in. The unit size is going to be five dollars for this bet throughout the year. But uh, yeah, no, I got them minus one and a half at plus one ten right now. Tomorrow morning. I love it. I oh, love wow. it. Gonna... Otherwise, it would be what? My, what? What is them just to win normal minus one fifty or sixty or something, right? You're, gonna, you're breaking the poor. You're breaking the poor people that are working here. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is this is willing. I, I instead of going I to feel Starbucks, it. he's investing it in the Dodgers minus one and a half. It's a good. It's a good play. So comments from last week's show. By the way, great comments. Yeah. Thank you guys for commenting and thank you for uh, liking and subscribing. Uh, comments last week uh, on on the YouTube. The Dodgers odds should be double. They don't have as good as a team as the Braves. So, oh my God, that I find pretty interesting. They don't have. Who good... said that? Can we? Can we? You name know what? That I actually person? like that guy. No, it's Thomas Freeze. I actually like him. I I am nothing against Thomas, but he's wrong. And, and then a good he's guy, wrong. another good guy comes in. Levi Keller, one of our guys that comment a lot, way over value, no value whatsoever on the Dodgers. He's with you. So these guys are. Well, are I do you. agree with that. That you can't bet the Dodgers at plus three fifty or whatever it is to win the World Series. I do agree. There's no value. That's crazy. I do agree with that. Well, someone asked. Great podcast. Tell us more about the advantage play on Frankenstein. Ooh, do I do this on, on the show? what? Frankenstein. So, what is that? A slot machine? Yeah, yeah. That's a slot machine, and um, there is an advantage. There's a bonus, a times single. There's a time symbol: two times, four times, five times. And if you get over like, I'll say ten, ten times symbols combined on the blue on Frankenstein, it's worth a play. People leave and don't realize that it's worth a play. People will understand me. Some people. It's an advantage machine in the casino. It's called Frankenstein. I've seen it. It's blue, and then there's a yes. yellow version. Or yes, an there's blue and it. orange above it. it. Of course you yeah. have. He's um, on fire. Frankenstein's on fire. I'm not a slot <laughs> guy, though. I don't. 
No, but, but I've seen the slot. That's right. He's on fire. John. Yeah. You know it's a brand new machine. I, this is where the money goes. Okay. So, no. No, I don't play slots. But I you know. Slots. You exactly know. Yeah. You know. You know why you know the graphics are unbelievable, aren't they? The gra- it looks cool. It looks yeah, so that's cool. That's exactly why. And the music and the and the gra- – oh, my God. The graphics so cool. And so, if, I'm, if I'm being honest, Frankenstein catches my eye because one of my favorite all-time cereals, Bill, oh, Frankenberry. Frankenberries. <laughs> wow. That'll put you in a nursing home, all the sugar in those yeah. kids' cereals. Um, yeah, no. They, yeah. They, that – um. So, so the Frankenstein machine does have some advantages. Uh, it's yeah. one of my advantage machines to look at if it's a total of 10 X or more. So it could be two X times five or a five X, a two X and a two X and a two X. And that, that's when you should jump on the Frankenstein though. So someone said that uh, great show guys, Tommy dimes, anyone named Tommy dimes. He's got to be one of our guys. Uh, Bill, do you know who Vegas Matt is? Yeah. You know that Vegas Matt and I, we follow each other on Twitter. Yep. Oh, I'm. A, I had him on Action Junkies last year. Oh, let's have him back with us. Yeah, he he's fun to talk to, and and I think you'd probably get a kick out of talking to him about slots. And oh stuff. yeah, no, no, he doesn't do advantage slots, but he just he's a gambler. But I right. I would talk to him. Oh no, definitely. I'm, yeah. yeah, yeah, no. Um, someone said that uh, double after split is not as necessary to worry about about penetration. He he's right. Thank you, Tommy. There's another Tommy. Wait, there. say that again. So I feel remember like I was telling you about the that. Caesars properties when you're doubling yeah. after splitting. The penetration yeah. in the deck, the deepness of the cut of the two decks is worth more. He's probably right. So the, the more cards that you have out for the player, the better than the than the than uh, doubling after splitting. We talked about that on last week's show about uh if you're if you're counting cards. If you're counting cards, that the, the the more cards out, the more cards you get to see is, is very important. Um, but yeah, some really good comments. These guys are are really good guys. Jeremy Scorpio, Sean and the Sun. I can go on and on. Great questions, great things there. Uh, I'm I'm gonna get in there and respond to a lot of these uh, a, a lot of these guys. And we really appreciate your your uh, your feedback and stuff. And and they have some really good questions and good comments. I, I, that's all I'm gonna say. They're you know, John. It's so nice to know that. We have a crowd. Yeah. I told George, I was back in Atlantic City. I was in resorts, and two different people come up to me in resorts at the DraftKings, and one at Bellagio, uh, not Bellagio, at Bergata, which is the MGM book, came up to me and mentioned our show. Now, I had other people mention yeah. other things, too. Some say, hey, I seen you from Showtime, but they seen talked about our show. So our show is really um, getting to be a hit with a lot of people on, on Spotify and, awesome. and, and both of our YouTubes. Things are going really good, and and we appreciate that. Appreciate the feedback, guys. Um, but uh, all right, John, listen, uh, we'll make it a fast one here. I know you guys are shooting some stuff I'm, over there. Well, yeah, I'm I'm more glad that you want to make it a fast one right now because all I can think about is this pizza place that oh, yeah. you're sending me make to. Make sure you I'm, go. I'm, I'm, I'm go going over there. right now. Hey, John, before you, this chair, b- I'm going b- to pizza. before you Tell get me. off, have you ever went to the Juan's? Is it called Juan's Flaming Fajitas here in town? Yeah, we, we talked about we it. Talked we about talked about it, about it right? It's my I went again. Walk at Juan's. It's yeah, great. I went again. Man. And there's one up on the 215. Yes. Well, yeah. That's a good local, good local place. We did talk about it. Or I see that's my yeah. ADD going crazy. But no, anyway, I went there again yesterday. We should do me, you, and George. Me and you and George need to go there and chop it up. Yeah. Add Matt Kelly. Oh, Matt Kelly just All gave right. me the right. about me. He's in. So what about me? He's in, my man. He's been holding that steady this entire episode. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I can no, no. have light. Good, good deal. Good deal. All right. Well, listen, get back safe. Have a great time with your All dad. Right. Um, Thanks, man. Tell the king's wife I said hello. There's uh oh, there's one of the yeah, I'm there's here. one of the good pizzas. That's one of them. That's I'm that's that's here. them, man. All right, have a good What's time. What's the pizza place near? It's near Frank the arena. Frank Peps, go by the arena. Frank Peps. When you go, go through the, the go okay. through the walkway there, go to the right and you'll see the food court there where there's like other We're places. We're literally going straight from here. Frank Peps. See you guys. 